It's an opportunity now if anyone would like to come up and share. Uh, welcome you to come, Darren. Yeah, um, about uh, four weeks into the beginning of Channel of Blessings, we started having the truck go to L.A. I was driving the truck. Um, Doreen and I were in the family room, and she um, said to me, Yeah, i got to talk to them about that. I want to help. And talk about a great, great help, great person. That was Doreen. And um, we had such a good team of people that God put in the Channel of Blessings. I think that it all started many, many years ago with her prayers and it morphed into whatever stages God had this church in and had her in. And that was another calling, I think, that she had. That she had that calling to go to Channel of Blessings. And it was so, so powerful. And... Um, uh, many good memories I had of uh, Doreen, and she, there was a, a, a calm, a strength, um, and a peace that she had. And uh, she meant a lot to me. And I told Pastor Steve that about a year ago. I, every time when I would visit, I would ask how his mom was doing. And the last time I said, you know, she means a lot to me. And... Uh, I just got to say, if there's one word that could sum up her life, there's one word that could sum up her life after she knew Jesus, especially. And that word would be obedience. Because she was obedient to where God had her, to where God called her. And if you doubt that, look around. And I'll leave you with this. How many seeds are in an apple? Seven? Eight, ten. You look at Doreen's obedience. She was nothing special. She was just obedient to her Lord and Savior. And you ask the question this way. How many apples are in a seed? Orchards. Praise Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Darren. Thank you.